what's going on my exotic family it's your boy Dre welcome back to the channel so today's video we're going to be hanging out with the MX the Mexican beaded lizard we're actually going to pull him out for the first time since I've gotten him I've just been actually letting him hang out do his thing um so I haven't handled him but we're going to pull him out today clean his enclosure up make it look really nice like you know when I first set it up because he has completely trashed it um so we're going to go ahead and clean it up make it look really nice and then at the end of the video we're going to go ahead and feed him so stay tuned <laughs> all right everybody so welcome back to the video this is dmx and his enclosures you can see it's not a complete wreck um, but i just wanted to pull him out so i can actually kind of rescape a few things so when i get my animals i'll set it up and then i'll kind of see where they go most where they spend the most time you know and these guys are extremely um, nocturnal and he is an extreme, he loves to dig. So I'm going to just kind of redo a few things in here. It's gonna look the same pretty much, but just kind of, you know, just spruce it up a little bit, move some things around, re-flatten some of the substrate and everything like that. But first things first, gotta get the good old gloves. He is actually back here behind this rock. So we're gonna take that out first. Um, like I said, I'm gonna put the gloves on because as you guys know, these guys have a pretty nasty bite, not something you want to get bit by. So, two. move this rock, set it down, get out of there. And then now we have this guy here. So we're gonna go ahead and attempt to get him out. And there you have it. Guess you can hardly see him, but little DMX right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put him in this little holding container. Take off these gloves. Put on our fun gloves and get to work. So hopefully it's not too hard for you guys to see. Lighting over here isn't perfectly great. So I'm not in the reptile room that you guys know and love. Um, so again, I'm just gonna kind of spruce through here a little bit. Actually adjust the camera, make sure you guys can see. Hopefully that's better. Uh, I'm just sifting through here, picking out any poops or any urates or anything that I see, but also checking, making sure that the poops are regular. I'm sure you guys know this routine pretty well. So this actually, he spends most of his time actually on his warm side. Um, he likes to dig like right here in the front of his water bowl, which is usually right here. He'll actually dig under it um, to kind of keep cool or um, whether it's full of water or not, he'll just sit in the water bowl and actually just sleep there. So um, I'll make sure we get him some fresh water. Pull this log out. So this is where he spends the least amount of time. So where his actual cool hide and everything is, he spends the least amount of time. So kind of sit through here as well. And again, I'm just gonna rearrange you know one or two things. So this is gonna stay right here, but I'll probably with his plant. Yeah. No. So I'll move this plant back here just to kind of give it a little spunk, I guess. There we 
three. And then now I'm actually gonna go ahead and give the enclosure a nice little spray down, um, you know, just to re-wet the uh, substrate, uh, help him with digging and just ultimately just make sure he has hydration. Again, he has a water bowl, um, which I'm gonna fill up here shortly. Um, I spray down all of my enclosures because whether they're a desert creature, tropical, whatever, they need water to survive. So let me go ahead and grab that water. Alrighty, so that is closure all sprayed down. So his rock used to actually be back here in the back. So I think I'm actually gonna move it here closer to in the front now. Just again, just to give him like a different feel for the enclosure. Basking spot. You know. Oops, spray that down a little bit. log he actually does use it i'm um, surprisingly these guys are not the most agile climbers but they do climb if given the opportunity um so i'm gonna go ahead and add that back in there let him have his log back usually at night he's going crazy like literally climbing over the 3d wall like i mean spider-man style and just going crazy so i um, just want to make sure i add all his pieces back here for him um, but I think, I think it looks pretty good for just a quick little, you know, redo, I guess. Nothing fancy, nothing major. Um, he seems to do well in this enclosure. He eats for me every time. Um, so like I said, we're actually going to be feeding him here in a moment. So the last thing that I actually need to do is just to go ahead and grab his water bowl, put him back in, and then we will be all set. Alrighty, so we are back. Got the, got the good glove back on, so we're gonna go ahead, put DMX back into his enclosure, and then we're gonna go ahead and feed him as promised. So let's go ahead and grab him out of the container that he was just hanging out in. drink of water all right everybody so we are back got my my guy DMX sitting here all right everybody so we are back got my guy DMX in here so like I said we're gonna go ahead and feed him so let me actually go ahead and grab his food and we will see if he wants to eat food You guys hear any scratching noises? That's the tegu still being as crazy as ever. I think he's hungry. Get him there. Turn around over here for you guys. Get off a little chunk of it, so he's just licking it off his lips right now. Alrighty, guys, that is the video. Um, unfortunately. DMX did not want to eat for us on camera, but you guys know how that goes. Um, I feed him once weekly. Um, he usually gets a one pinky mouse. Um, he's 
trying to convert over to fuzzy mice. Um, he usually takes those pretty well, but I guess this week he just wasn't hungry. Um, so I'm just going to keep an eye on him, make sure there's nothing else going on. And I will try to feed him again in a couple of days because he has not missed a meal since I've had him. Um, make sure he has fresh water every single day. And I do spray down his enclosure um, maybe once or twice a week just to make sure he's got some extra sources of hydration in there. But hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. Um, drop a comment down below. Any questions, comments, whatever the case may be, drop them down below and I'll always reply back to you. Follow on Instagram at DW Exotics. Make sure you hit that notification bell down at the bottom so you don't miss any uploads. I upload every. Well, my schedule's been a little crazy, so just hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads for when I do upload. Uh, follow me on Instagram at DW Exotic, which I already said. And as always, stay exotic. <laughs>